we are in a metric system. So uh, in the whole world, uh, United States, we use a very different system. And actually in the whole world, uh, most of them, they use the metric system. So in the, when, you, when you decide to go to the medical field, you have to learn the metric system. Okay, so that's our system. Uh, turn the miles into yard, into food, into inch. Uh, you cannot do that in your head uh, because you have to multiply, divide by different numbers. However, today you will learn by using the metric system. You can actually do that in your head by turning the kilometer into meter, into centimeter, into millimeter because it's all based on 10. Uh, that's the power of matrix system. So in the science and in the medical field, uh, they all use the matrix system. So if I ask you convert uh, inches to feet, you could not do that. Uh, but after today's class, uh, I hope you are able to, your goal is to be able to do this. I ask you to, to transfer 21.5 centimeters into millimeter. So uh, after today's class, hopefully you can tell me it's 20, uh, 215 uh, millimeter. Okay, so uh, why would you have to learn the metric system? Because in the medical field, uh, they all use the metric system. And also in the science field, uh, they use the metric system. So uh, their unit, okay, length, volume, mass, time, temperature. So their unit, uh, first you need to know the typical unit. Lens, they use meter or uh, kilometer. So meter, sometimes they just use M, abbreviation is M, or a kilometer. Uh, volumes, they use liter, milliliter. Uh, mass, you use kilogram, gram, milligram. And time, well, time is the same. They use hours, minutes, seconds. Uh, temperature, they don't use Fahrenheit, they, they use Celsius, okay? So the first uh, was the prefix of the metric system, uh, kilo, DC, center, milli, micro, and nano, or what each one of them means. So each one has a meaning. Uh, when you say kilo, gram or kilometer, what does it really mean? It means it's a thousand, it's a thousand. So uh, that's, that's the meaning of each one of them. So kilometer uh, is a thousand meter. So kilogram is a thousand gram. And today you will also learn the scientific notation. We say 10 to the power of uh, three. 10 to the power of three is 10 multiplies 10 multiplies 10. So that's the scientific notation. And daisy means one over 10, uh, one divided by 10. So scientific notation is 10 to the power of minus one, uh, to the power of minus one. Uh, so uh, clinically, we use decimal daisy liter a lot, uh, daisy liter, because that's, that's like, 0.1 liter, 0.2 liter. This is about the volumes uh, to prepare the IV solution or any uh, inject medicine solution. So we use DC a lot. Centi is one divided by 100. One divided by 100. Or we say one divided by 10 and then divide by 10 again. So 10 to the power of minus two. So that's center, uh, centi or center, centimeter, uh, centimeter is actually one meter divided by a hundred. So it's very tiny, uh, that's the centimeter. Okay, milli is one divided by a thousand. One divided by a thousand is one divided by 10 and divide by 10 and then divide by 10 again, or we say 10 to the power of minus three. Micro, we use this a lot, like a microscope. A uh, micro is one divided by a thousand, then divide by a thousand. Or we say 10 to the power of minus six. And nano, 
nanos, uh, we use this in engineer more frequently in engineer. So when we talk about the wavelengths, it's in nanometer range. Nano is one divided by a thousand, then divide by a thousand, then divide by a thousand again, or 10 to the power of minus nine. Okay, so each one of them has a meaning. Now, practice the scientific notation. Because you find the number can be super, super big or super, super tiny uh, in the biology. When we talk about the microscope, it's look at the cells, it's pretty tiny structure. In astronomy, we are looking at something very big. Uh, you don't put a lot of zero there. So the first thing uh, is this prefix, what each one means. The second thing is, okay, you need to be able to do the scientific notation. Means during the test, uh, what can, I can ask you what kilo means, what daisy means. I can also give you a number, SQ. Okay, give me the scientific notation. Scientific notation is no matter how big or how small this number is. You can put a lot of zero here. I can put them into this form. The form will always be first number multiply 10 to the power of second number. So no matter how big, how small the number is, you can always transfer them into this kind of formation, this scientific notation. And the first number uh, need to be bigger than one. It can be one. Uh, you need to be smaller than 10. So it can be 9.999. Uh, it just could not be 10. Okay, and the second number uh, is the integer. Uh, could be one or two or three or minus one, minus two, minus three. Okay, let's do the practice together. So how to turn 15,000 in the scientific notation? And if you learned it in high school, you can use your own way. And my way to do it, okay, I like to find the decimal point first. You say there's no decimal point. Yes, there is. The decimal point is here, 0. 0.00. We just don't write these two. So that's the decimal point. Okay, first find the decimal point. And the second thing, okay, we'll see we step to the right or step to the left. Every time we step to the left means these molecules, uh, sorry, not molecule. This number is a big number. Uh, so you have step one, two, three. We have to move the decimal points to here. You step to the left three times. So far, so good. Okay, then this is your first number. Remember, the number need to be smaller than 10. And second, you step three times, right? So the second number, the B, will be three. So the answer would be 1.5 multiplied 10 to three times. This is how I do the scientific notation. I find the decimal points. If I need to step to the left, every time one step is one. Okay, now let's practice this. A thousand. A thousand, okay, decimal points. Decimal point is this. And then I start to step to the left, right? So one step, you have 100, two step, you have 10. And I say the number need to be smaller than 10. So you need to take one more step. That's here, it's three. You step to the left three times. So the first number, A, is this, is one. A is one. And one multiply 10 to what's the second one? Step one, two, three. So it will be three. And that's the correct answer. So what it means is a thousand in a scientific notation, what it really means is 10 multiplies 10 multiplies 10. You multi multiply them three times. You multiply them three times. That's the scientific notation. Okay, so that's you stepped to the 
left. And this for the big number. Because every time you have to step, find the decimal point, step to the left, and that's a big number. So for 1500, what it really means is 1 1.5 multiply 10, multiplies 10, multiplies 10 again. Okay, let's take a break. <laughs> 